So I'd like to invite the children and the young at heart to come forward. I'm so glad Mr. Gronkowski is here. Did you watch the game? Wasn't it great? It wasn't just great they won. It was a really great game, wasn't it? I'm not supposed to talk about the Patriots today, but I really am a huge New England Patriots fan, and I had a great time yesterday, so it was really good after some bad weeks. But I'm wondering how you're all feeling today. You're all good? You feeling good, Reverend Rick, back there? Good, good. You know how I feel? I'm kind of thirsty. I'm really kind of thirsty. I don't know if any of you have ever noticed, but every week I have this up front. You know what this is? Water bottle. Because I don't know about Reverend Rick. He doesn't seem to need it, but I get really dry in my throat when I talk so much. You know, when I say prayers and when I sing, and especially when I preach, because sometimes you get that dryness in your throat. And you really, do you ever feel that way? You really want to drink a water, you get really thirsty? I feel like that right now, but I have a problem. You know what it is? The empty. It's empty. You know what's a good thing? I brought... So I'm all set. What, what do I got? Water. And it's not just a little water, is it? It's a lot of water. So I think I'm good. Let's see. Okay. I still got some water left. I could be really thirsty for the next 45 minutes or so, right? You know, look at this gallon. Of, it is a gallon, right? Do you think, how many times do you think I might be able to fill that up? with this gallon? Like four times? Well, you know, I, don't ha I only have one of those, but what about a cup like this? How many cups like this do you think are in here? One? How many? Well, I'm not a math major or anything, but I did learn arithmetic, and there's 128 fluid ounces here, so I'm guessing I can get about 20, 25 cups out of this little jug. I think that's enough for all of us, right? We have enough here for all of us to have a drink of water. Turn around. I think maybe not 20, 25. There might be more than 25 people back there, so that's really probably not enough. Well, I want to tell you, Reverend Rick is going to preach a sermon later, and he's going to preach a sermon on a story about Jesus, where Jesus was at a wedding with his disciples and his mom and maybe his family and his friends, and there wasn't enough wine. Now, back in those days, weddings weren't just for an afternoon. They went on for days. So people got together, and they ate, and they drank wine for days. And when Jesus was there, his mother pointed out, there's, there's no more wine. And so Jesus, he looked over, and he saw six stone water jugs, six and he asked them, fill those with water. And then he turned them into wine. So he had six. But they weren't water jugs like this. One of those water jugs had not one of these, not two, not three, not four, not, but 30. Can you see all the water jugs? I decided I, wouldn't, I didn't have 30 water jugs, so I only brought one. But imagine that. That's how many. One, so if I did my arithmetic correctly, one of those stone water jars had enough wine in it for 600 people. So look back here. Do you think we have 600 people here? No, it's, well, it's like four churches worth of people, right? Now remember, I said Jesus had six stone water jugs. All right, so each one had 30 30 of these, 600 in one of those stones. So 600 times 6, 3,600 in people, maybe 20, 24 churches worth of people. That's more than enough, wouldn't you say? More than enough. Even for all those people at a wedding for several days, it was more than enough. And that's what God is like. God is always giving us more than we need. More than we need, more sun than we need, more air than you and I need. And he gives us love, he gives us friends and family. God is so good and loves us so much. God wants only good for us and gives us more than we need. And for me, what that means is I have so much I can share it. So I'm going to ask Mr. Gronkowski 
you can take this water and you can share it because I got more than I need. All right? So let's, let's close with prayer. And when we pray, it's like being on the phone with God. So if you want, you can put your hand up like this, like we're on the phone, okay? Dear God, we know that you give us so much because you love us so much. Thank you for everything we have for our mom and our dad, our families, our friends, our teachers, our pets, our church family, and for the beautiful world you gave us. And help us to share when we have more than we need. Amen.